Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. I made this video to give a bit of a rundown on the AI Prime freshwater lights that I've got on my water box tank here behind me. This video is intended just to show a bit about the lights and talk about why I got them and also show how they operate and a bit about what the app looks like as well. I hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful and now let's get into it. So you may be wondering why I have these lights on a tank that I don't grow plants in since they're quite powerful lights and they can be used to grow plants. The main reasons that I chose these lights in particular is the customizability of the colour spectrum, the Bluetooth operation and synchronisation of the lights and also that they fit the rimless tank because on a tank like this it's not really practical to have a bar light that sits across the top especially when you've got netted lids like what I've got that you want to be taking on and off. I'm going to go into a few things about mounting and show you a bit of the app and the lights and the way that you can customise them as well to give you a bit of a closer look. So with these you have to buy the light separately, so this part, and then you also have to get the mounting kit as well. There's two different types of mounting kits that you can get. There's the one that I've got that goes straight up and over, or there is one that you can get that's kind of bendy um, if you want to be able to move your light around. So I did see someone write a review that they didn't think that these were um, very good quality or that they were flimsy, but that hasn't been what my thoughts are on them. I'm actually really happy with the mounting kit that they come with. So you can see that you just screw it in here and then it just goes over the rim of the tank. What I'm going to do is I'll take this lid off so I can show you properly how it actually mounts on there. Okay, so I've just taken off the netted lid so I can give you a good look of how they actually mount to the tank. One of the things that I found appealing about these lights is that they can mount on quite a thick glass. So this water box tank is 19 millimetres thick and if you have a look here, there would still be room to even have a thicker tank as well, or have a um, fit on a thicker tank. So mounting it is super easy. It just screws onto the side of the tank like that. And then if you have a look down the back, you can see how it sits. So just like that. So I could have these higher up as well if I wanted to, but I'm only using around about um, half of the available length and that's the height that I've got. So this is the app here, it's called My AI. And I've got my cichlid tank on here and you'll see that it says three devices connected. So there's a few different things that you can do. You can opt to turn the lights on. If they're off, you can do a demo to show what the setting looks like that you've got. It'll just quickly run through it in like a minute and what it'll look like all day. So let's say if you wanted to add a blue light during some portion of the night time, I'm just gonna make it easy by going from 12 a.m. let's say to 4 a.m. So you would just drag your time to 12 a.m. and then you click add and then, oop, I just scared my fish. And then what you would do is you would just put the blue light on like that. And it'll give you, when you're doing it in the app, it's gonna show you too what it looks like when you do that so that you can see what level you might be happy with. And then let's say if you just wanted it to be a little bit of a blue light, then you would say tick, that's good. And so now what it's gonna do is it thinks that you want it to be blue light all night until your normal cycle comes on. So then what you're gonna do is drag this to, let's say 4 a.m., just like that. And you're gonna click add, and you're gonna say, no, 4 a.m., I don't want the blue light anymore. Then tick. And so now what you've got is your blue light starts at midnight after your normal lights go off, and it gets increasingly stronger and then as it gets towards 4am then it's going to fade off just like that so if you wanted you know just a little bit of blue or you wanted to have heaps of it you can choose that in there and then it's the same with every other color as well so you've got blue green deep red moonlight uh, warm white cool white to choose from i'll show you what some of these look like 
and as you're playing with the app, if you don't press anything for a while, it's just going to automatically put the lights back to your normal settings. So I'll show you some of the colours. We've got green, I'll show you what that looks like, um, you know, red, moonlight, if you're curious what that looks like too. So moonlight is very, very faded. It's actually pretty hard to see if you don't have all the lights off around you. Um, or cool white, which is pretty cool. And then what you can always do too is you can make combinations using different lights. So, you know, you could put some red in there and some green and some cool white to kind of just fiddle around with whatever color spectrum you're happy with. And that's something that I really, really like about these lights is the customizability. So yes, they are good lights for growing plants as well, or you can get the saltwater versions for growing corals and they're awesome for that. But I just think as well, even just for aesthetic appeal and usability, that was the thing that attracted me to these lights the most. I liked that they have the Bluetooth operation so that I could make sure they were all doing the same thing as each other um, and all in unison as each other, which I think is a really cool feature that they have. And I like knowing that depending on wherever I live at the time and the space the tank is in, or how I'm feeling, whether it's winter, summer, things like that, I can always customise how my tank looks and the kind of vibe and aesthetic that it gives off using the lights. So that's something that really, really attracted me to these lights. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. Let me know if there's anything that I didn't cover or that you would like me to cover in a future video. And as always, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like as well if you liked the video and found it helpful and then I will continue to make videos. Well, I will see you in the next video. Bye.